Good afternoon, everyone. This is a video review of the Candow QCam. So this is a definite, I guess, very advanced type of camera. This is a camera that uh, films pictures and videos in 3D. Uh, first camera I've ever had that does that. Now, here's the back of the screen, and I'm going to turn it on. Before I show you the front, which kind of explains how this camera actually does that. So there's the startup screen. Now this is a touch screen also. And there's, uh, you just use the power mode to switch from the photo mode to the video mode, which now it's on video mode. And I just hit the um, the red button to start recording, like that. And you'll get the little timer up at the top left to show how long the video is. And you have the battery life and everything. You can end the video. It is a 64 gig card that comes with it, which is amazing. And there's 58.7 gigs left of memory on the card. Because I only have a few things on there. All right, so I'm going to take just a picture of these plants that are right here. And you can hear the audible click. All right, so here is the front of the camera. This is how the 3D magic happens. Um, there's the little a quarter inch threaded screw for the uh, tripod or the, the bipod or monopod or whatever you want to use. So these two lenses right here are spaced out about the same distance as human pupils. And how do I know that? I didn't measure my pupils, but here is some reading glasses. And Holding them up to the lenses, they're pretty much right even where my pupils, my eyeballs would be looking at through the glasses. So when you take videos and or pictures, it takes two videos and or pictures, one from this lens and one from that lens. And then like our brain does, it kind of blends them together when we use this device here. And this is the 3D viewer. So you have to have this to get the 3D effect. And to do so, this just, it's magnetic. You have to make sure the uh, screen is clean as well as these two little glass things right here. Because if there is any lint or hair or whatever on there, then it definitely shows up on there. So. It is going to be difficult to see anything on the lens because right now it's just pointing up at the ceiling because it's looking through the lenses. So I'll put my hand up here. So looking through that lens and looking through that lens, it just provides two different angles that the same as our brain would do, kind of blends them together to form a 3D image. And that's what you get when looking through here. I wish I could show you on the screen or you could see it by looking like this, but you can't. You have to have this device looking through here to actually see the image in 3D. So, like I said, this thing just is magnetic, but you could just squeeze these little buttons right here on the side to unhook it. And the magnet is, it is pretty strong. In fact, you could hold it above it, bare, not even touching it, and it will actually pick up the camera and it kind of locks in place with these little clips on the side. So the thing about the camera, it is, it says waterproof, but it is not designed to be submerged underwater for a long period. I did lower it into a big, about a 10 gallon, um, 
flower pot filled with water to take an image from underwater just to see that it was in fact uh, waterproof to that level and it was un underwater for no more than five seconds and it did not get any water inside uh, but you would not want to take this diving um, I don't know if they have any waterproof cases for these like they do for the other action cameras um, but this camera is very sturdy and very well made um, there's buttons here to go through the videos and the images uh, that you have stored on the camera and like I said it is touchscreen and uh, has a lot of adjustability for exposure and frames per second and things like that so for video it does do 60 frames per second so you do get some very sharp images um, very clear photos and when you take a picture this little green light kind of flashes make sure it is on picture and not video and we'll get a picture up close of my phone and me in the background and you'll see oops probably just made it on video so let me switch it back to photo mode and I'll press the correct button this time the red one you'll see this little green light here kind of change color from purple back to green and then something else that came with this is this little mirror that is a magnetic as well and that slides right there so you could use it to see that you are hi in the frame when you take a picture like that right there all right so i have a few videos and a few pictures this also does record audio so let's turn it off all right and then press down on this little lever right here to open the side this is this camera came with two batteries in the bundle i got all right i'll take the card out first but uh like i said it is a very high quality 64 gig card and then this is the battery right here see if I could get that out it is a skinny opening and I don't have exactly skinny fingers but here is the battery Got a long slender flat battery that fits in there make sure I get it in there right okay um, so besides the two batteries, it came with a charger. Uh, it came with, now this is probably one of my favorite things it came with. This selfie stick is carbon fiber and it's not carbon fiber looking. It, it truly is carbon fiber and it is extremely light, super, super light. It unscrews to open up these two sections and then it opens up again to another several sections and it's uh, I believe it's 30 something inches long I'm not sure of the exact length but it has the lanyard here so you don't uh, doesn't come off your wrist and then this here has a nice um, metal I don't know if that's aluminum but it's a little ball head that rotates and then tighten that up on the camera holds it very sturdy anyway this is very very stiff there's a little bit of flex but it is absolutely wonderful it is so lightweight um, and extremely high quality just like everything else that came in the package so thumbs up to this great great uh, selfie stick all right so i'll put the card in here Now you will see that 
there's going to be two images, just like I said. Now that is the about a 10 gallon pot of water with a floating fountain, solar powered. And there's two images and they are ever so different just because of the lens of the camera or the two lenses being offset by whatever 60 something millimeters, just like our eyes are, our pupils. So together they focus on an object and get different pictures and then our brain makes it a 3D image. So here are different views of the fountain and you can see the water coming out of the little spouts. And here's a plant and it does not look 3D looking at the screen, I know, but like I said, if the camera was snapped onto this and you're looking through here, it absolutely looks 3D. It looks like it is right in your face. Uh, and that's with pictures and videos. So here is the camera underwater, probably about two inches deep. Um, and then kind of a selfie I took with the camera underwater and me out of the water. And there's a selfie I took right here in my kitchen. There is the picture of the plants that I took on the video. And then there is another one with the little uh, mirror on the front of the camera. All right. And then the video. So at least you could see that it is very clear, nice color, sharp image. Well, I wish I could show you how the 3D works, but I just don't have the ability to do that because I can't have you look through here the same at the same time and do that. But it really is 3D and it is, uh, I think it's pretty awesome. So I have not downloaded the app, but I can download the, an app and share videos with other people that have these units and they can view the videos. Like I said, as long as they have the viewer and the camera, um, they could go to the app, download the password, get the video, and then view it. So um, it is, I took it to Florida and took some great pictures of different birds and other wildlife but I have those saved on a different card. But either way, it is a very neat thing. It's just uh, not always the most convenient to have to use this to, uh, like when you share pictures with people, you could share with multiple people at a time and look at it at the same time. Well, to do it with this, you have to have, everyone has to have the 3D viewer or some other way, virtual, um, the VR viewers or something like that. But Either way, it is an extremely high quality camera. Everything that came in the package is high quality. And if you are into making 3D videos, give this a try. I don't think that you're going to be disappointed at all. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.